So a few weeks ago, the Supreme Court surprised everyone and ruled that bribery, as in direct cash-in-hand bribery, is actually not against the law in one specific situation. It's when the cash hits the hand of the politician after they do the thing they're being bribed to do. If the cash or the promise of the cash happens before the fact, then you go to jail. But if it's just understood that the cash is going to happen afterward, then you don't go to jail. The Supreme Court just called that a token of appreciation and said it's legal. To be clear, until this court ruling a few weeks ago, it was illegal. A mayor in Indiana was convicted of exactly that kind of bribery. He gave a garbage truck company a million dollar contract and then they gave him $13,000 for him to personally keep. But the Supreme Court just threw out his conviction and basically said this is almost illegal but not quite. So if Congress wants this to be illegal, they have to pass a bill saying exactly that. Well, I'm a member of Congress, so here's my bill. My office has spent the last three weeks working on the language. It's written to close exactly that loophole and do nothing else. No landmines, no poison pills. Yes, it is section 666 of the code. No, I didn't pick that number. It's just the section with the bribery laws in it unfortunate. I haven't filed the bill yet because I just finished the draft, so now I'm taking the draft to other members of Congress to try and round up support. The biggest hurdle our bill faces is just being called for a vote. I don't have the power to do that. Ultimately, only the Speaker does, and he's only going to let that happen if he feels there is strong support in the majority party for the bill. The big challenge there is that the election's coming up. Everything's being viewed through that lens, and frankly, not much is moving. That means there aren't many opportunities for me to try and attach this small bill to a larger bill that's already moving, which as a freshman has been one of the main ways I've been able to get things done. But then again, if Congress is just looking to do something and needs a semi-obvious idea the public would broadly support, I got one for them. So you and I will find out together and I'll keep you posted. Yes, fuck yes, Jeff, thank you so much for taking care of us, for taking care of the community, the society where we live in. Fuck all, all politicians do, big name politicians before the election is talk shit about each other. God damn, fuck, thank you, you're a refreshing cup of motherfucking water. Keep, keep shit together. Keep shit together. Keep shit together. I want to give you this piece of information. I want you to pause the video super quick. Here you go. Great, thank you so much. You just read that over super quick, okay? And guess who's doing just fine? Guess who's doing just fine after all the fucked up stuff ordinary people have to go through? Yes, yes, the people that bribe others. God, fuck. This concerns you at all levels. What can you do about it? Go like that video. Go like Jeff's video. It's the first thing that I'll link in the description. Thank you so much. Fuck.